Hi everyone and thank you for watching my new video. I'm Mayolijn, I'm a fluid artist from the Netherlands and from my art studio I would like to show you what I do. And you can see here I have a lot of canvases here because it's challenge time. And this month of November I will demonstrate a different fluid art technique every day. So every day a new video with a different technique. And some of them I have done before but some of them I have never done before. So I think it will be amazing amazing to see all those different techniques because there are a lot of different techniques available with the fluid art technique. Every day there will be a video online on this channel so please subscribe to my channel and miss nothing. So let's start and make art. 14 is done, let's go over to number 15. Uh, number 15 will be the ribbon pour. The ribbon pour, number 15. Uh, I will show you everything you need over there. Number 15, the ribbon pour. Painting number 15 and I will use all those colors. So let's start here with the first one. I use black and white and the black one is the oxide black and the white is the titanium white. I use the black for the background and all the other colors are going in my cup and I will make a, a ribbon pour with that. The pink one is the Queen Aradon Rose. How do you pronounce it? I'm not sure how I did it right. But this one is really an amazing color. And the turquoise green, also from Amsterdam. And this one's also from Amsterdam, the olive green light. And this one is the Venetian Rose from Amsterdam. And this one is the iridescent copper from Golden. I really love this color. It's really shiny and it's in here. Uh, I think I said all the colors. And of course, I'm using not this one this time. I'm using my normal Obatrol Floatrol. Uh, I use one part paint, two parts Obatrol Floatrol and one and a half part water. And then you get this consistency. It's medium thick. So I love to work with this consistency. So let's start with the ribbon pour, number 15. So let's prep the canvas. And what I mean with prepping is unwrapping, tape the back and use my large push pins. I made a full video of that process and you can see that video in the description, but I will speed it up now because otherwise this painting will be too long. done the ribbon pour never done that before either <laughs> we will see what will happen the ribbon pour what's a ribbon pour i think i've seen a lot of videos where they did a ribbon pour so i um, do that the same way as they did uh, first i will completely fill my canvas with the black paint and then i will pour uh, the paints in this little cup and then i make some ribbons um, not like a ring pour that it completely fills the canvas with the paint that's in here but I will leave some negative space, some negative black parts and then I will... Uh, will uh, um... it's late, it's late, this is already my sixth painting for today so I'm sorry uh, then I will uh, stretch this one a little bit out and then I think it will look great <laughs> I didn't think so so let's start filling the canvas with the black paint first. Yes, that one's on. And that's too much, so maybe I can it back in here a little bit it will be a mess anyway
see. There are some air bubbles and I will pop them. So now I will fill that cup with the paint, with those colors. I will start with white. You can also use a split cup for this technique, but I love to use a cup now. And this is enough. I used all the colors. This one was almost empty. It's a great way to um, clean, clean yourself. Not yourself, but your shelf. All right, the ribbon pour. I will make a nice ribbon here and then I will stretch it out. I think it's too much pain. <laughs> I think there was something in, in the white paint, <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> what did I use? There were some big cells developing here. <laughs> I think it was my cloud mix. <laughs> I will show you. There are big cells developing. That was not my idea, <laughs> but it looks great. Hmm. What happened? I think I just did. I just discovered a new cell activator. <laughs> so there is not much negative space left now. But I will try to keep this part. I love this part here. So let's try and make something. I don't know. That's why I love fluid art so much. You can do anything you want. And if it really is a disaster, you can scrape it off and try again. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I will tilt a lot off because I used too much paint. And I would like to see some black coming through. So it's not really a, a ribbon pour. I don't know what was inside. It must be cloud mix or something. But that doesn't give so much cell reaction. This is really weird. And this will happen when you use your leftover paints. A 
looks like there's silicone in it. I don't know what I have to do with this one. There's nothing I can do with this one. I don't know, maybe I'll stretch it a little bit more. I think there's silicone in it. I really have no idea. I don't even know if I would like to let it dry. Maybe I will make some white and start over. There is something in it because there are some... I think I think that silicone is in... There is silicone inside. But I will let this one dry. You know, you've seen how you make a ribbon pour. But when there was no weird thing in it, <laughs> you have have had a really different result. I will show, I will show you the close-up. Look. <laughs> Look, you can see there is, when the light hits it, you can see there, you can see? So I think that's silicone. I really don't know. Look. But it looks funny. And those things are look like eyes, they are watching you. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> I will leave. I will keep it. I will keep it. I will keep it. There was a lot of paint in it, so. And also my golden, uh, you can see it there. So it's still there. Uh, I will let this one dry. <laughs> and maybe it was cloud mix, so maybe it will be more cloudy or something. And I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what happened here. But I said that already, I think, 20 times. This, this was the ribbon pour, but it's not a ribbon pour anyway, but um, yeah, I will let this one try, <laughs> I don't know. It's a challenge, right? Not everything is going to be perfect. And this one is not perfect at all. <laughs> but I love it. It's funny with all those holes in it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But this part here is a ribbon pour. I will show you the, rib the ribbon pour in this painting. There is a little part of a ribbon pour that was good. <laughs> that part there, that's a little bit of a ribbon pour. You can see it with those lines on the black base color. So that's a little bit of a ribbon pour, but all the other parts, not. I think I said enough about this one. <laughs> it all those holes in it. <laughs> I will let this one dry and you will see the dry result. You, you don't want to miss that video because I think this one will turn out really weird. And there is another video, I think that's the video that will come online today. It's today, it's the, the 7th of November today when I record this one. Uh, this one is number 15 and now it's the 7th. But the one, but the, the one on, that's coming on this today is with my spinner, my bloom on my spinner. And that one is there and it's... <laughs> That, that one wins the contest of the ugliest painting. This one is, not, is the second best of the ugliest paintings that I made in this. So you don't want to miss that video where I show you all the dry results and also from the seventh one that's really ugly. <laughs> I will let this one dry and I will see you tomorrow. And please don't forget to subscribe. See you tomorrow. How do?